Jazz, Kayla with Tactical Response here with Genesis, and he has a badass new shotgun that he's gonna give us all the details on. Awesome, thank right? you. Yeah. Hey guys, so if you're not familiar with our shotgun, it's called the Gen 12. It really started its life out as an 18 inch conversion kit for a standard 308 lower. Uh, it's short recoil operated, so the barrel actually moves as it fires, and that's how it creates the cycle of operation. So there's no gas system to tune. As long as the barrel's able to move based on the wad that you're firing, you're gonna get the cycle that you intend. The magazines are proprietary. They come in uh, five round magazines, 10 round magazines, and then we're gonna have our 15 round drum releasing in quarter three of this year. So the idea behind this is, is since our barrel moved, we had to come up with a way to overcome the moving barrel, but have a fixed muzzle device. So that actually ended up becoming what we call our SBM line. So the SBM is a fixed muzzle device. This can actually thread off and accept a can uh, from Rex Silentium, which is a 1 3, 1 1.375.24 thread. Uh, and then you can mount that direct to here just by taking the blast can off. But the barrel is still short recoil, it does reciprocate, and that's what creates the cycle operation. That allows us to shorten the barrel much shorter than what most right. people have to do because the tuning is self-regulated. You don't have anything to fix. All the components on the lower are going to be uh, standard springs and stuff that you find on your AR-10s. This one's outfitted with a four-inch buffer tube and is classified as an AOW. So this would be for like door breaching uh, or if you just want to have a fun with a two-handed shotgun. So this is the first reciprocating shotgun on the market, right? So. It's actually inspired by a gun called the AR-17, which was founded, uh, original design by Eugene Stoner. Mm -hmm. Eugene Stoner also created the AR-10. So really, Genesis was inspired to bring those two together. The AR-17 was a short recoil, two shell shotgun. Okay. So that inspiration led us to the 18 inch model. And now we've taken it to a whole new level. And that, I might as well talk about the big news for 2023, which is the fact that we're gonna be featured as the John Wick shotgun. And this is pretty exciting. So the shotgun itself is going to be outfitted with BCM furniture. It's going to have battle arms, lower parts pieces. So you got your, your bolt catch, your safety, your takedown pins. The trigger is going to be a Genesis trigger from Hyperfire. And as much as I like to say we came up with that with them, it already existed in their line. It's just a good <laughs> collaboration. It's going to have dual charging knobs. It's also going to have an exclusive opti optic available for it, which will be the EXPS 3-1. Mm -hmm. So it's probably... I believe it's probably the first one MOA dot, night vision capable uh, holographic, or even red dot for that matter. Uh, it's got the key mod grips, it's gonna come with the sling mount, but the coolest thing about the John Wick shotgun is that it's gonna have this removable muzzle brake, and then you're able to take the new JK suppressor for your 12 gauge and outfit it with a 12 gauge suppressor. So that answers why would you need a night vision capable holographic. It's because now you can take your shotgun out and shoot it suppressed at night. Like I'm not a gear person. I'm geeking out a little bit. Yeah. This is fucking cool. So again, the standard magazine for the John Wick shotgun is going to be a 10 round magazine. But later this year, quarter three, we're going to be releasing our 15 round drum. So the 15 round drum. This is uh, 3D printed, it's a prototype, but like I said, it'll be out quarter three. Biggest thing about having a drum is that it's gonna keep a lower profile, and we wanted to keep the size down dimensionally here, because obviously it needs to be a compact system, so when the end user's using it, both for home protection uh, or in a professional capacity, you don't want this thing to be too big and too bulky. So why key mod and not M-lock? That's a great question. One, <laughs> Thanks, I might Lewis. be one of the last <laughs> legacy guys loving key mod, but Specifically on this model, we have a, a weight buffer system that's on the short recoil barrel. Because the barrel moves, we have a buffer system that's patented for us. When we run M-Lock, the only M-Lock gun that we have that allows you to mount M-Lock close to the, uh, the receiver is our seven inch. Otherwise, we fill those in. Okay. Key mod doesn't have long screws that interfere with that weight. So this allows you to get the grip further back, ideally. Additionally, I personally think that the key mod feels better without any uh, handrails or anything else, and so you don't need to add those to it. Okay. But aesthetically, it looks great. I'm really excited to be part of the whole, the whole collaboration with that. The, uh, the last thing, is, and we're seeing it here, uh, aside from our traditional 7-inch, this one, and I'll just show it because we did it all up for the show. It's our Raptor Killer 7-inch uh, SBS. It's got the, uh, the same mounting interface for the JK. They call that the bald eagle. 
the adapter set. But this is a seven inch SBS. That's the only way it can be sold. There's no braced option or non-NFA way mm -hmm. to get a seven inch. Okay. Uh, we do do form one options on the website. So if guys are interested in buying a kit, we send out the lower to the FFL, we retain the upper. They form one it, they show proof of that from uh, the ATF. They basically just forward us the e-form mm -hmm. that's been approved. We ship them the upper, they manufacture it themselves at home. Uh, it's been a real real good way to turn around those uh, short barreled shotguns a little bit faster than waiting for the longer way, which is bringing this to the dealer and then waiting for that Form 4 to go through. So that's pretty cool. But My, my kids would love that just because the dinosaurs. I, I know, my son was super <laughs> excited. So the last one is here is our PDW line. So we have two things to announce on the PDW line. So this is a PDW stock, it is our design. It's a little bit of a collaboration with another company and that more will come on that. But what ultimately it is, is it's designed to work on a 12 gauge. So it's a seven inch barrel, four inch buffer tube. So when this is fully collapsed, it, uh, it takes up a very small footprint. And when you run it with a five round magazine, it fits in a backpack nice and easy. So obviously it's outfitted with the cloud, the new 3.0, which is like a sun, it's the sunlight coming out of that thing. <laughs> uh, on the range, you can literally a mile away light up. It uh, looks like a mile away. <laughs> right. But anyways, it's pretty impressive. So compact system, PDW, that's acceptable for our 12 gauge, super nice to shoot. A lot of people think it's gonna hit real hard on recoil, but it's not that bad. So the biggest thing that we're doing this year is we're finally announcing because there's no mil spec setup for 308s. So the lower receivers and upper receivers are generally sold as pairs. We've been tackling that market for a long time with uppers only. Uh, we're probably gonna discontinue that this year, but that's because we're launching a 308 upper. So that means that you get a large frame matching receiver set now that will be available direct through us. This one we built just for the show to show that we uh, dialed in everything on the 12 gauge and it is 100% compatible. I think we might be the first PDW in 8.6 with a 23 inch overall length and, a, and it's a serviceable stock that's got everything you need built to last for the end user. It's not the lightest weight one, but that wasn't what we built stuff for. Right. You know, a Marine's gonna be carrying something, he's gonna fall off that thing, off the seven ton, he's gonna crush this. We don't want it to break. Got to right. take care of our Marines. So anyways, super exciting. This will be available later this year, probably a mm -hmm. June delivery. Uh, and we're looking forward to launching our rifle line. So we asked Rock, like, okay, where are we going to make the most use of our time? Yeah. This was the first place he mentioned, and yeah. he was not kidding. Yeah, that's awesome. Like, thank you so much for yes, your time. Yes, thank you, guys. Remember, guys, your responsibility to be ready for the fight never ends.